What up YouTube, long time no speak. It's Michael here from Allotment Adventures. Uh, we used to be called Plot 60 Allotment Adventures, but had a bit of a rebranding to try and make things a bit easier um, and a bit better of a social media presence. So today I'm heading up with the allotment to sort out the shed. Haven't been up here in quite a while, but we're gonna see how it goes. So that's it, I'll see you there in a minute. Okay guys, so we're at the allotment now. Um, there's been a few changes since I've last brought you guys up. Basically, I've come up a few times without the camera, uh, training in the background, so bear me one second. Uh, I've come up here a few times without the camera. It's mostly just because I haven't felt up to getting in front of the camera, really. Uh, work's been busy, there's been a lot going on, generally in life, and I've had a few illnesses, but I did come up here and I did clear all the front, uh, as you can see. So I got rid of all of the mess. Um, and all the mare's tail. Uh, it's mostly because I was going to build a new fence just here and I was going to basically improve on this fence here. I was looking at doing a feather edge, feather edge fence. Um, looking at about four foot, possibly was looking at six foot. Uh, basically just having a bit of trouble with some people and um, just life in general has been a bit crap. So I haven't felt up to it, but I'm up here again now want to get up here, want to start cracking back on with it and updating you guys along the way. But the cure tail to kill the, mare, to kill off the mare's tail has worked very, very well. Um, as you can see just here, if I swing it around, it has literally killed it all back. Uh, I've had no regrowth at all in my greenhouse. What's fantastic. I've got one bit of live mare's tail over there still. I must have missed it while spraying. But other than that, flip you guys back around other than that it's actually been pretty good um, so it's not been too bad but the plan today is to try and make a start on this shed it is a real mess um, I'll open this door oh, do that bit first open this door and I'll show you guys inside so as you can see there's just junk everywhere I haven't really been up here to sort it out but I'm gonna pull it all out these big three pieces of wood are for my new floor because in the back corner over there it's starting to give way so I'm going to put new floor all the way down but that's the plan for today I'm going to pull it all out possibly try and fit the new floor if not pull it all out and just reorganize so I'll see you guys in a second Got them so they've grown into these. Um, I'm not going to try and plant them, it's not worth it, but I completely forgot they were in there to be honest. Okay, so 
So these two canisters, they were actually in the shed when I first got the allotment. Um, there was actually a gas barbecue here as well. I got rid of the barbecue. I didn't want to get rid of these because I didn't have to get rid of them properly. Um, if anyone knows how to get rid of them, please put it in the comments below. Um, if not, I'm going to try and get hold of Atlas, Atlas, whatever it is, uh, gas, and then Caliber. See if I can hand these in somewhere because I don't need them. Um, they're just taking up space. Take out space in my shed and I don't want really to leave it out because it'll just get rusted um, and it'll be in a worse condition than what it already is. Also, I don't know if any of you noticed, but my two IBCs have got um, sold them to John down the bottom, who's got plot number one. He's now got about seven or eight IBCs. He's got an amazing water collection down there. I'll speak to him and see if I can sometimes I can take it down and show you guys. But he basically. I wasn't clean with them after I cleaned them. I still smell a chemical in them. Um, due to my OCD, I'd rather get new. So, got rid of them. Um, I'm going to crack back on. Okay, so I'll take you guys in a minute and show you. Okay, guys, so I've took most of it out so far. Well, in front of these boards. All of this section has been taken out. Um, all that down there as well. Still got all of this over the back. And all that to do but i've just noticed these boards have been lent up against here actually got a slight hairline where the boards have come apart i did actually uh reclad this side i'll take the round i can show you you can see it's actually flexing so i'm gonna have to see if i can get it to go back in um instead of it flexing out it might have to be pushed back and maybe a bit of wood put on the back and screwed together um as i don't want water leakage but but yeah as i said before this is where my two ibcs were wasn't keen with the chemicals smell still so gave them to john john's a very smart man so he'll clear them out um to a high enough level for him to be happy enough to use but i just wasn't happy so i'm gonna have to buy new um what i don't mind doing i really want to try and if i can collect as much rainwater as possible Gonna have two IBCs next to the shed like before and possibly one IBC linked to the greenhouse as well eventually. But it takes time, takes effort, takes money. So at the moment, don't really have much of either of it. So just gonna finish sorting out this for now. two people doing this but I don't
working like this. big boards out. These are what I'm going to use for my floor as previously mentioned. What I think I'm going to do then is now taking everything out of the shed I'm going to move everything from the right hand side across to the left measure and do the first bit on the right and then move everything back across the other way and do it like that. That way I know um, I've only got a small patio here to really put stuff everything on so that way I can actually Get, at least get some of the flooring down before I lose too much daylight. The sun's just dipping down behind the trees now. So fingers crossed I'll be able to get some of it done. I might have to do half now and then come back and do half again later on in the week. But we'll have to see how we go. Okay guys, so this is inside the shed now. I moved everything from the right hand side across to the left as you can see. Um, but there was a bag of rubbish that basically fell out. So I'm gonna get this sweeped up, get it out of the way, and then we're gonna measure up and try and get this half of the, the shed at least cut and laid. So bear with me guys. Hey guys, I uh, don't know if I'm in frame really, I'm going to have to check, but basically swept it all now, going to whack the tape measure over, get a size, try and cut the first bit. One seven. One seven one. That's it. So I got the board up onto the workhorses, uh, it wasn't an easy job but we got there. I'm going to measure this now and hopefully get it right the first time. Uh, I'm not the best with measurements even though my job requires it every single day. Uh, I'll get there then. So fingers crossed this works. So let's crack on. I'll grab the level a minute. Let's get a straight line across here. Them cats are fighting even louder now.
first bit done. Now let's see if it fits. As you can see, it's not going down. I knew I should have cut it a tiny bit smaller, but I didn't. So I'm gonna move it back across, take a sliver off the edge, try again. Okay, so as you can see in the last clip guys, that first board down went down really nice. It's not as flush to the edge as I would like it to be, but as it is only a shed floor, I don't think it matters too much. It's a lot more sturdier. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to need to screw it down, but I will put a few screws in it just to hold it in place really, um, so that it doesn't shift and move and then i can move on to the next one and then the sliver down the back so i'm going to whack some screws in it now okay so as you can see uh, this board's gone down really nicely i've actually cut the other two boards to the same sort of size not exactly but pretty much the same size so they can fit in the shed easier so not just let it cross and then not damaging the size of the shed again uh, i was going to drill these all down but unfortunately i bought the drill bought the circular saw but no drill bits so I can't do that today. Um, that'll be the next video, guys. Hopefully pop up sometime this week again if I can. Shuffle everything from over that side to this side, get the last two bits down, drill the floor in, and then we can look into building all my new shelves and that what I want to build. Uh, I'll take you guys through the whole process during the way. But oh, I honestly think that'll be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Smash that like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the intro video. Uh, I built the intro video myself using tutorials online. Um, the logo itself was built from a, a graphics designer on Fiverr who did a really good job I think. I'm looking into putting it into clothing possibly um, and other bits of branding and merchandise to try and sell. Not to you guys but generally. Um, it's going to be quite plain so if anyone has an allotment or anything and they're having an adventure at the same time you could use it for that. But any proceeds that I get from it will be put back into the allotment or into the vlogs itself. Try and get some better production value stuff or more stuff for the allotment possibly look into some of the perspex or glass for the green apps. try and get that sorted ready for next year so i can do that but as i said that's it for, that's it for today guys hope you enjoyed that video and i'll see you again next time